How do you think we got here? I'm gonna tell you. We got here because of a lack of character. You see, a lack of character has you seeking out leadership that is compromised. A lack of character has you seeking out leadership that is compromised. Because your subconscious says, if they're flawed, I'm allowed to be flawed too. And so oftentimes we're hoping that the leadership is not perfect so we don't have to be perfect. Anytime you hear someone say nobody's perfect, all they're really saying is, let me exercise a lack of character. And so people are seeking out leadership not to become better people. People are seeking out leadership to not have to make the tough decisions. This is why we're here. And so the leadership is a reflection of the people. Just like the attitude of the leader is reflected in the people. Now, what we should be doing is not being biased about life. Meaning, if someone is telling us the truth, we should make it about the messenger. All the great prophets of our times caught hell from the people. Not because of who they were as people, but because they were telling the truth. And what happens with many of us is, we want the truth to feel like the lies. And the truth is going to convict you. It's not gonna make you feel good. The truth is going to convict you. It's going to make you stand there and accept it, or it's going to make you run and hide. So what many of us have done is, we've taken the truth and we've made it subjective. If I don't like the way the truth sounds, I don't have to accept it. And this is why we are where we are. It's a lack of character all the way around. Just think about it. If nobody's perfect, right? And a person not being perfect is qualifications for you not listening to them, then I'm gonna ask you, who will you listen to? Who will you listen to? If, a, if no one's perfect and not being perfect is grounds to not listen to someone, then who will you listen to? I'll tell you who you listen to. You'll listen to someone who isn't perfect, who is flawed, so at any given moment, you can reject the truth they have for you. This is how we are where we are. So what we should be doing is accepting the truth without even having to accept the person. The person is irrelevant. It's about the truth. You see, we focus on the individual because that gives us a reason to not have to accept the truth. And in our minds, we think, oh, if this person isn't perfect, then I don't have to listen to them. No, the truth is still the truth, whether you like the person or not. Your enemy can tell you the truth, just like your friend can tell you the truth. It doesn't matter who's speaking the truth, you have to focus on the truth because that is the only way you're gonna be free. And many of you all, many of us, are looking for a way out. But the only way you can escape is through character. So many people, Many of us are looking for leadership to justify our lack of character. That's why we are here. That's why all these leaders are in place now for that very reason. It's because the people lacked character. Because at some point in time, we should have said, you know what, we're going to pick the leadership. We're not gonna allow you all to pick the leadership. We're gonna pick the leadership if we need leadership. But guess what? We would never do that because deep down inside, we do not want to be held accountable. 
and we don't want to be responsible for what happens. You know, because first you have to account for your abilities, then you have to respond to them. We don't want that. We want to always have an excuse that justifies our lack of character. So now we get to the media. And what the media does is, the media takes the people that you don't like and allows them to tell you the truth. And then they take the people that you do like and allow them to lie to you. See what just happened? Now you got conditioned. Now you got programmed and you didn't even realize it. So now you think that when you see someone and you like them, everything that comes out of their mouth is good. And then the folks that you don't like that are telling you the truth, everything coming from their mouth is bad. This is how they get you when you make it about the person. It's never about the person. It's always about the truth. We are in a time where you're not gonna have the luxury of getting the truth from people that you like. We are in a time where you are not going to have the luxury of getting the truth from people that you like. That is immature, that is childish. Your job is to discover the truth. And once you discover the truth, your job is to respect it and accept it. Your job is not to find flaws in the means by which you got the truth. So whether or not the leadership is perfect or not is irrelevant because you are still going to be you. And the final decision to change you and your situation really rests in you, your decisions, and your choices, and above all, your character. Wait for a few bands, come on, come on.